Welcome to part 15. As a quick recap, in videos 1 through 4, I discussed the overall plans for our content management system and how to build out a basic HTML and CSS website that we would make editable using the CMS that we are creating. In lessons 5 through 14, I reused videos from the PHP login with OOP and MVC series because that gives us the basis that we need to start our application by creating basic authorization and templating objects. So we're going to get started today by working on the file structure and the database setup that's involved with our content management system. What you see here on the left side of my screen is the results of videos 1 through 4. We have an application folder and a resources folder and our index.php. So that contains the basic HTML and CSS website that we built out. On the right hand of my screen, this is the resulting code from videos 5 through 14, which includes the code for our authorization object and templating objects. So I'm going to be working to combine these two projects together to form one cohesive content management system. Let me start out by working on the app folder. And this folder will contain all the files needed for a content management system. And so far, all we have is a resources folder that holds images. Also in this resources folder, I'm going to add a couple additional folders. Let me go ahead and add a CSS folder. And that's going to hold the style.css. And I'm going to change the name of this to fp underscore style.css. And the FP stands for Flight Path, which is the name of the content management system that I'm building. Um, obviously, you can change it, but that's what I've gone with for this example. And I've prefaced a lot of the uh, CSS styles that we're going to be working with and some of the files themselves with FP, just to indicate that they're part of the um, content management system, not part of the actual website. So in addition to the CSS folder, I'm also going to build out a JavaScript folder, like so. I'm not going to put anything in it just yet, but we will use it in the future. In addition to the resources folder, I'm also going to create a new folder that I'm going to call core, because this is going to contain the core functionality of the application. And the idea here is that I'm trying to make everything as modular as possible. This would allow us to simply add folders for additional key bits of functionality. So hopefully this is the right approach and this is what we'll be using as I build out the rest of the application. So in the core folder, I'm going to create a couple additional folders. I'm going to create one for models, one for templates, which I'll talk about in a couple minutes, and another one for views. And within this, um, I'm going to pull over the views from videos 5 through 14. I'm going to put those views uh, within the views folder. There we go. And uh, we actually don't need a members view, so I'm just going to delete that. All we need from here is the v underscore login. And for models, I'm going to pull over the authorization and template objects. So those are key bits of functionality that our content management system needs. Um, the ability to log in and log out, and the ability to display different views. And then for includes, um, I'm going to work with this a little bit, but if I go back to the app folder, I'm going to move over these two files here. And that is nearly all I'm also going to move in the login and logout.php files to the app folder as well. So that concludes the file movement process. Let's uh, move on to updating our database. I've opened up PHP my admin, and you should have something very similar to me. I have an OOP underscore login database. And this is the same database that I created in the PHP login with OOP and MVC series. 
and I have one user's table in it, which contains uh, three columns, an ID, username, and password. And we have one record, with the ID being one, the username being admin, and the password being a hashed version of the password admin. Rather than simply reusing this database, I want to rename it to something that's more closely related to our content management system. So as far as I understand it, there isn't an actual easy way to rename a database using phpMyAdmin, um, but what I am going to do instead is I will export the database and then re-import it under a different name. So I'm going to go to the Export tab and just hit go and what you see here is the proper commands to recreate the database and I've copied this data I'm going to open up a text editor paste it in and save it to my desktop and then I'll go back to the phpMyAdmin home I'm going to create a new database here um, which I'm simply going to call fp underscore cms and I'm going to import this data back in again. Here we go. So you'll see once again we have all the correct structure and the correct data in place from the old database.